Hey, what is up, guys? So today I am bringing you another episode of Game Talk. This is episode 5, and this one is on the HCS game type and uh, the new HCS game type. So for those of you who, ha who uh, don't really know much about this game type, um, it is you only start with a magnum, no, uh, no automatic weapons like assault rifle and... Um, other weapons like uh, the uh, blue plasma rifles and stuff like that, as well as no splinter grenades or swords. So this is game type on uh, Eden, this is Eden Strongholds, and uh, so let's get talking about this game type. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun. I I honestly enjoyed it a lot because now I uh, I have a like a fighting chance when I turn the corner and a guy has an assault rifle, um, I can now actually kill him. Uh, so it, it makes it so much easier for actually talented players who are not getting destroyed by, you know, having a noob just fucking, uh, kill you with an assault rifle, which is honestly really annoying. So having this game type here as an option to play to avoid that is actually, um, I actually enjoy it a lot. Now, um, if you're not a very competitive player and don't, want too much of a, uh, you want to play kind of a chillax game type, I would not recommend this. It's a pretty sweaty game type. I mean, people go hard in this. Um, because that's kind of what the purpose of it is for. It's kind of for more, uh, more competitive play, as this is what will be used for the, uh, upcoming HCS events. Um, so another part of this is the new radar. Now, I know in my last video about Proving Grounds, I said I disliked the radar, but... Honestly, with this new game type, with Magnum only starts, you don't really notice the change in radar, which is actually I actually now like it. Even though before, when I was doing my proving grounds game talk, I I said I actually disliked it because um, it's people could sneak up on you with an assault rifle, but now that's kind of eliminated. They only uh, have Magnums and stuff like that. So now not having them pop up on my radar is not that bad. And honestly. I've learned not to use my radar as much in this game type. I don't have to rely on it anymore, so that helps me out a lot. So if you're someone who really relies on your radar to uh, find people to uh, to get kills, uh, this game type might also be a struggle because, as you know, if the, for those of you who don't know, the new radar uh, works uh, like this. Um, you won't pop up on your, if you're just walking normally. You will not pop up on the radar like you used to. Um, stuff that makes you pop up on someone's radar is um, using Spartan abilities like thrusting, sprinting, ground pounding. That will cause you to pop up on their radar. And also, um, you'll pop up on the. Uh, also, the radar is actually extended to uh, 25 meters, I believe, which is uh, about 10 meters longer than the uh, previous radar. Uh, used before in other, uh, actually currently used in other um, arena and social playlists. Okay, um, now the maps are also structured a bit differently. In this game type, um, power-ups are located in different places on certain specific maps and game types for those maps. Like, um, just a quick example, on Eden Slayer in this game type, the overshield is now placed in Turbine. And, uh, honestly, it just it makes the map play a bit differently, but it's not too much of a drastic change, and I, I honestly don't mind it. Um, now, also, I feel like I have more chances to land shots with uh, power weapons like a sniper rifle because someone's not able to hit their shots with a uh, assault rifle as like um, in close range. So I have more chances with a sniper rifle than I used to, that I didn't have before. Now, uh, let's just talk about, in a broader stance, um, this game type is actually very fun. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it is competitive, but yes, it's a lot of fun. I, I'm, I, I'm playing with a, a few friends, and, um, we're just enjoying ourselves a lot. Because, I mean, although it is competitive, it's actually very helpful also. Honestly, bef coming before this game type, um, you know, I didn't have the best Magnum shot, but honestly, I've been playing a lot of this game type, and uh, I have to say it has increased a lot. This is one of my earlier gameplays, um, 
if I were to show you one that's, uh, oh, uh, my earlier gameplays in this, uh, game type, but if I were to show you a gameplay more recently, um, I, you'll actually see a big difference, which is actually great because I've been trying to work on my Magnum shot for a while, and I haven't really had the opportunities of it until now with this, uh, HTS game type. Now, obviously, a lot of uh, professional players are excited over this, and I, I mean, I can see why. It's a, it's a big change, but it's a good one. I mean, Halo has had the same settings for, I mean, ever since the release. So now having this new, this new uh, change, it's kind of bringing a refresh to the new to Halo in, in a sense. Um, I feel like, I mean, a lot of. Uh, yeah, it's refreshing an old game. I mean, that doesn't happen. That hasn't happened to Halo in a while. I mean, the last update was, what, a few months ago? And so having this new refresh, although it may seem minor to some of you, it's actually big for the community. So that's kind of my take on the game type. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And uh, see you in the next video.